it was it, it definitely excited us um, I think it gave us a lot of confidence beating the whether they ranked one or two um, no one was expecting us to beat them and we went into their field and uh, basically the whole game we knew we were going to win uh, I don't think there was really any time in the game where I felt like they would come back and beat us uh, we came out with a lot of energy and we knew that that could be a turning point well our, our goal is definitely to go back and uh, I think we've got the talent to do it on our team we lost a lot of key players on the defense uh, we've got to fill those spots uh, we got Darren McFadden who who could lead us to the back to the SEC championship and um, great coaching staff. Hopefully, we can take it back. Well, I think it brought us closer together, uh, not only with our coach but with each other. Um, he kept us well informed the whole time and. Um, having holding team meetings and um, that helped out a lot because we didn't really know what was going on. We didn't understand how we could go ten and four and um, go to the SEC championship game and then still have people taking shots at Coach Nutt. I think there was a silent majority who had our backs, but there were a few people speaking out against him and. Um, it, it was a great experience for us as players to watch him. He didn't he didn't budge the whole time, um, and uh, it, it was a great learning lesson, life lesson, uh, how he just persevered through it and didn't let it bring him down. Uh, that, that's probably my best football memory yet. It was a great atmosphere. Uh, you know, you felt big time because you were in the SEC championship game. I uh, had never experienced anything like that before. And it was a shootout. There were times where I thought we'd come back and get it. Uh, a few plays here and there uh, kept us from getting that game. And, you know, we could have had a chance at the national championship had we won that. But, you know, things happen and you just have to deal with it. Well, we know that we can play with any team in the country. Uh, we, had, we had a good first half against USC. We didn't finish the game, but after watching the film, we knew we could play with anybody. Uh, and that gave us confidence throughout the year that if we could put together halves like that, that we could beat any team in the country. And, um, you know, it's a, they, coaches say it all the time, it's the small things that win the games. And uh, that held true towards the end of the season. We lost a lot of close games. Uh, it leaves, as an older player, it leaves me a little big, bitter and hungry to start out next season and um, hopefully win 10 or more games. Well, it, it brings a lot of positive publicity to our team. Uh, which we need right now and kind of motivates everybody to play better uh, not only for Darren but because we know the country is going to be watching us um, we're kind of he's brought the spotlight on us and uh, if anybody would should get it it should be him uh, he's humble uh, he hadn't changed a bit since he's a freshman he's had jokes when he was a freshman he has jokes now uh, he's a real easygoing guy and he deserves it Patrick Willis. Um, I knew that he was a great linebacker starting out the year. Uh, I'd seen some highlight tapes on him from the year before. Uh, I kind of, I kind of looked up to him. Um, I watched him when we were playing. Uh, I've even watched a little film of him after this past year, uh, just to see 
you know, what a first round draft pick looks like. And um, he's definitely a talented linebacker. No, he, he, he cracks jokes on me, but he doesn't, he hadn't played any jokes. <laughs>